Greetings, Earthlings. This is April. In this episode, I will be comparing two super devices: Google's latest super phone, the Nexus 4, and Samsung's super phablet, the Galaxy Note 2. Let's find out what makes these two phones super, and which of them is superior to the other. Just by looking at these two, which one do you think is more pocket-friendly? That wasn't a difficult question to answer, huh? Owing to its smaller size, the Nexus 4 is definitely the more pocketable of the two. Ironically, although the Galaxy Note 2 is bigger, it feels about as light as the Nexus 4. The large build of the Galaxy Note 2 not only earns for it the nickname Super Phablet, but also could pose a challenge to those fond of wearing tight pants. Both phones are plastic, which to some will always look and feel cheap, regardless of how beautifully designed the plastic is. Yet both the Nexus 4 and Galaxy Note 2 have truly beautiful exteriors. On the Galaxy Note 2 is a brushed metal finish covered with glossy coating, and on the Nexus 4 is a glossy jet black exterior. These phones look classy and elegant. The front of both phones are simple and uncluttered. On the Galaxy Note 2, the front is mostly touchscreen and gray bezels with brushed metal design, accented by the speaker grille, Samsung logo in silver, front camera, and the elongated home button with silver lining. There are two capacitive buttons here. These buttons are only visible when the phone is awake. The front panel is surrounded by a glossy silver frame, giving the Galaxy Note 2 its professional, business-like looks. The Nexus 4 has a simple design on the front that, to me, surrounds the phone with an air of mystery and power. It's a plain slab of black with only the speaker grille and front camera disturbing the peace. Unlike the Galaxy Note 2, the Nexus 4 doesn't use hardware or capacitive buttons. All navigation is done through on-screen buttons. The phone's elegance extends even to the sides. On the Note 2 is a shiny silver-plated plastic frame. On the Nexus 4, the frame is black. Locations of ports and buttons are the same on both phones. Volume rocker at the left side, headphone jack at the top, power button at the right, and the micro USB port at the bottom. But there are differences too. The SIM tray is on the left side of the Nexus 4, while on the Note 2, it's under the back plate. Also, the Nexus 4 is not shy about the two Torx screws at its bottom side. The Note 2 doesn't show any of its screws. Yet another difference is that the Note 2 has the S Pen holder at the rightmost end of its bottom side. Needless to say, the Nexus 4 has no stylus or S Pen. The brushed metal finish starting from the front of the Galaxy Note 2 continues to its back plate, giving the phone a metallic look, although still plastic to the touch. This is a removable back cover. It's thin, but it's made of durable plastic. One of my gripes about this beautiful piece of thin plastic is that it's not hard to scratch. So keep it away from pointed or sharp objects. But I do like the idea of being able to replace this backplate with a custom-made one, or the idea of being able to replace the battery, which is also removable. As for the Nexus 4, the simplicity and plainness of its front is matched by the contrasting glamour and pride on its back panel. This is made of thin glass and serves as protective cover for the back camera and the crystal designs underneath the surface. If you hold up the back against the light at a certain angle, you'll see sparkling crystal designs. These two logos also appear to float in the air, some sort of 3D illusion. Being a hybrid of phone and tablet sizes, the Galaxy Note 2's display is naturally bigger. The Nexus 4 stays within today's currently popular phone screen size of 4.7 inches. Yet, make no doubt about it, the displays on these two phones are awesome. But owing to the screen technology at work, one may be more pleasing to you than the other. On the Nexus 4 is a true HD IPS Plus LCD touchscreen display showing subdued yet more realistic colors. I find this display easier on my eyes. On the Galaxy Note 2 is an HD Super AMOLED touchscreen display with its bright, saturated, and enhanced colors. I particularly like the Note 2's display for watching HD videos and playing HD games. Apart from more viewing space for reading text, I also like the Galaxy Note 2's smart features. Smart Stay, for example, keeps the screen awake for as long as I'm looking at it. Smart Rotation auto rotates the display according to my viewing angle. The Nexus 4 doesn't have any of these features. Movies and videos are a joy to watch on these two phones, especially 1080p Full HD videos, which they're capable of playing without stutter or lag. Images are sharp and crisp, and their respective video players have uncluttered interfaces. Though of special note are some extra bells and whistles that Samsung has packed into the Galaxy Note 2. For instance, you can watch videos by floating the video as a pop-up window on the home screen. You can watch a video in split screen through the multi-window feature. 
While playing a movie, you can grab screenshots from the video without pausing playback. You can even exploit the S Pen to preview certain parts of the movie without having to halt playback. The Nexus 4, of course, doesn't have all that extra gravy. I wouldn't expect it to either. After all, it's a pure Android device, so I can only expect it to provide me the basic stuff. Both phones provide acceptable audio and music quality. Both also include default music players that include presets, multi band equalizers, and sound filters and enhancements for improving audio output. Yet the Galaxy Note 2 has the upper hand here by virtue of its louder and cleaner sound. The Nexus 4 sound becomes muffled if you play audio with the phone flat on its back. These two are among the newly unleashed quad core beasts of the year. On the Samsung Phablet is an Exynos 4412 chipset, while on the Google phone is a Snapdragon S4 APQ8064. Powering the Phablet is a 3100 mAh lithium ion battery with 16 hours of talk time. The Nexus phone runs on a 2100 lithium polymer battery with 15 hours of talk time. That's just about an hour of difference in published talk times. Still, your battery longevity will greatly depend on how heavily you use your phone. Overall performance on both phones is good. I hardly notice any lag when scrolling between home screens, launching apps, or playing HD games, except for very slight and almost negligible and occasional jitter when scrolling web pages. The smoothness can be attributed to Jelly Bean's Project Butter. The Galaxy Note 2 runs Android 4.1 Jelly Bean with TouchWiz UI, while the Nexus 4 features the latest pure Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. The Galaxy Note 2 has more attractive storage options. On the one hand, you can get either the 8 or 16 GB model of Nexus 4, and that's the only amount of storage you'll ever get. On the other hand, the Note 2 lets you choose among 16, 32, and 64 GB models. Plus, you can add 64 GB more through micro SD card expansion, which leaves you with up to 128 GB of phone storage. With that much storage on the Galaxy Note 2, you'll have lots of space for photos taken by its 8 megapixel back camera. The Nexus 4 also has an 8 megapixel camera. Both phones produce crisp and vibrant photos. Photo capture is fast and instantaneous. They can also capture 1080p full HD videos. The Nexus 4 uses the stock Android 4.2 camera with its revamped viewfinder, photosphere feature, and time lapse recording feature. Meanwhile, the Galaxy Note 2 includes not just the features of the Android 4.1 camera, but also Samsung additions such as Burst Shot, Best Photo, Best Face, Share Shot, and voice enabled controls. In sum, the Galaxy Note 2 is a powerful phone filled with more features than the Nexus 4. This phone has a fast processor that gave me a fluid experience, even though it only runs on the earlier Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. With its wider and eye popping display, playing HD games and watching your favorite movies will be perfect on this device. It also overflows with multitasking features. And the 128GB storage capacity is surely something you won't want to ignore. Although not as feature filled as the Galaxy Note 2, the Nexus 4 is still one of the best phones in the market. Overall performance is just as smooth, and you get pure Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. Since this is a Google device, the Nexus 4 will be one of the first few devices to receive the latest updates from Google. Between the Google Nexus 4 and the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, have you made your choice? Let us know in the comments. Get more Android news and reviews from AndroidAuthority.com and our YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching. This is April. Until next time, may the light side of the Android Force be with you.